hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing i hope everybody's okay and i hope everybody's having as good day and night as possible um today it looks like um, a nice night uh, today um in colville northwest leicestershire um it was on and off uh, with rain um and cloud um also uh, also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my tra um, travel and my lifestyle channels and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so if you haven't already done so and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss the upload and um, today I'm going to be doing um, budget travel destination special five exciting facts March 2024 uh, part two and this is according to roughguides.com is where I'm getting the information from so if you would like to hear about five budget travel destinations uh, please keep watching and uh, number one on the list um, is South America and it is Uruguay for budget destination which um, which basically has beautiful beaches and and lots of beaches to choose from if you have already visited Brazil Argentina or, or basically just looking for a better value destination in South America than say Brazil and Argentina and um, then head instead to the neighbouring Uruguay uh, you will be relieved if uh, you like steak and um, you can find excellent steak and um, here and um, in uruguay and um some amazing restaurants and uh, plus uh, plenty of lovely beaches to choose from so if you're looking for um lots of restaurants to choose from and you like eating steak especially and um, also and um, you like a variety of beaches to choose from and uh, looking for better value for money than um, neighbouring Brazil and Argentina then uh, look at Uruguay as your country of choice and uh, beaches uh, to choose from and um, in Urugu Uruguay uh, there's a lot and from and also um head to cabo Pol polino uh, for quieter sands and abundant wildlife and uh, the gorgeous old capital of Mat Mati video excuse my pronunciation so if you're looking for a quiet beach then cabo a lot of cabal polono for quieter sands and abundant wildlife and also visit the old capital um for probably museums and like um like old town and um sites and uh, lots of history um if you're into that uh, moving on now to number two the gambia uh, for a cheap destination with nature africa it is also africa's smallest um country and is already known for its beautiful beaches but it is also well worth venturing beyond the beaches to experience its other delights top of the list um is um the chimpanzee rehabilitation center 
in the river Q Q uh, Cubia, excuse my pronunciation, Cubia National Park, uh, where you can watch the primates um, in the natural habitat um, for bird life and the balcony wet wetland excuse my pronunciation so wetland reserve is arguably the best place um for all methodology on uh, the content of africa and um it is um, most atmos has the most atmosphere at sunset so if you're looking for a great place and um, that has the most atmosphere at long at, at sunset the Barra Colony or Barra Balong wetland reserve is arguably the best place for ornithology so again if you're looking for beautiful beaches and um, uh, looking uh, to go to a rehabilitation centre and see lots of wildlife then uh, Gambia um, is a really good budget destination to travel to in Africa uh, coming in at um, number three is Turkey, Istanbul, um, with one foot in Europe and another foot in Asia. Istanbul is undeniably alluring and if you want to avoid seeing the major sites um, that can int eat into your Turkish lira, for example, um, with which is more expensive such as the blue mosque at top cafe palace and are you sophia the city it can still be great for tighter budgets best ways to soak up the city are from um boss floris ferry one and wandering the streets of the Grand Bazaar or on a street side terrace um, where to stay um, best for views is Hotel Poen um, best for bed and breakfast or B&B &B is Mest Hotel Istanbul Sir Korea best for location is Boutique St Sophia um, hotel so it really depends what you're looking for whether you're looking for um, views um, a hotel room with a view with then hotel poem if you're just looking for bed and breakfast then at mess hotel istanbul shakira and if you want the best location in Istanbul then it's the boutique Saint Sophia Hotel that comes um, top of the list so n moving on to number four um, is um, another country um, in Asia which is Laos um, for national parks and more even in a region of the cheapest places to travel to Laos stands out and it's hard not to be captivated by the slow pace of the country head just a um, north of the elegant Long Para Gang to the riverside and um, many know know where for and um, small change you can uh, bag a walker's waterside bungalow and watch the boats uh, travel up and down um the cursed um river um over a cold uh, bottle of beer and um, leo and it's also famous for national parks and more so if you're looking for a country that's famous for la um, national parks or more 
and um, you uh, basically want to watch the boats um, up and down a river side um, then bag of water side bungalow and again uh, which is uh, again cheap and if you like visiting famous national parks and more then again Lajos um, in Asia again could be a destination of choice now um, if you're not wanting to uh, travel that far and you still want to stay in Europe um, number five um, on the list is Portugal um, and it is a beautiful country um, I've been to it and especially in the Al Algarve it's really beautiful and lovely with its rugged beaches and like coastline um, and Portugal uh, for a cheap country in Western Europe P Portugal remains one of the best bargains in Western Europe and it is especially worth considering if you want to avoid the more crowded resorts and cities of Spain so yes Spain is a lot more crowded in general than Portugal and um, again uh, make sure you stop in the Algarve uh, for rugged um, Abertine Joe co Coast um, with its a cheap fresh seat food and vibrant um, Uber coal um, Or, or vibrant uber cool vision um so yes lots of uh, also lots of nightlife um in, uh, in the algarves um you can go to albufera and that's if you are looking for a very busy uh, touristy place um but and player the rocker um is really busy as well with nightlife but um, if you want a more quieter place then Porto Manu which is just outside Rea, Playa de Roca where I've vi visited and at like resorts such as Alvar um, are quiet um, many resorts are quiet um, so I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow um, for my um, travel and my lifestyle channels improvements ups, uh, updates and more. I'm extremely um, excited to announce something um, tomorrow so please keep watching and I would like to say thank you and bye for now. Thank you, bye.